what's going on guys welcome back to the channel guys i wanted to come back on here to give you some additional training guidance as you prep for your special forces assessment and selection journey all right um i'm hoping that me sharing these training tips with you will make your journey um to getting in the best shape of your life for selection a bit easier right because everything that i'm sharing with you guys are all mistakes that i've made in the past and i'm hoping that sharing all those lessons learned with you will um, expedite your you know path to getting to the best shape of your life with that said guys here are five running tips that is going to help you on your journey to getting in the best shape of your life so you can attend and crush selection guys anyone that has two set of eyes could look at me and tell that i'm not a runner all right i'm more for go to the gym pick up heavy shit and put it back down type of guy, right? But when I got serious about going to selection, I had to learn how to become a great runner, right? Guys, till this day, I still don't like running, you know, but I understand that it's a necessity in the field that I'm in, right? I have to find that right balance of being strong and bulky and be in good running shape so I could not only meet the standards, but also set the standards for my guys, right? So with that said, guys, here are five running tips that are gonna help you on your journey. Guys, running tip number one is you gotta have good shoes. Guys, when I started my journey, I didn't know, you know, there were specific shoes meant for running, right? When I went to basic training, you know, the army fitted me for a pair of running shoes and that's what I used for, you know, majority of my career prior to going selection, right? But once I got serious about it, I went to the running store and I got with a running specialist who, you know, looked at my arches, right? And they fitted me for a pair of shoes that would support my arches, you know, same thing with my ankles, you know, to make sure while I'm running, one, I could maximize, you know, the run that I go, but two, that I was safe and wouldn't get injured. So if you're serious about going to selection, you need to go to the nearest running store and speak to a specialist and get fitted for a pair of shoes you know, that's gonna help you not only train to maximize your potential, but also to ensure that you're safe. Running tip number two, guys, you need to incorporate lunges and sprints into your running workout. Doing so will increase your endurance as well as your speed. If you haven't incorporated them yet in your running routine, right? I would recommend doing them at least, you know, one to two times a week on top of what you're already doing. Tip number three, guys, is you need to learn your uh, pace count or you need to learn where your limits lie right and this is what I mean by that right so out there at selection you're gonna go on all these you know unknown distance runs right um, you don't want to be that guy that you know take off like a bat out of hell you know on the very first mile or two and then by the time you get to mile three you know you're done right so you need to learn how to pace yourself right and then you need to learn you know where your limits are uh to where when you reach like the last you know um 600 meters or so you know you can give it all you've got right but you need to learn when to step on the throttle and when to dial it back right uh so if you don't know how your body reacts to you know certain speed i would urge you to you know find out so you know exactly what to do you know when you get out to selection and you face with those time runs running tip number four is to make sure you have a balanced routine, right? I don't want you to just run seven days a week, you know, lose all that weight and look like a pencil, right? I want you to have some meat on your bones because at the end of the day, it's not just about running, right? One of my biggest pet peeves as a team sergeant would be when, you know, a, a brand new guy shows up to my team and he's running, you know, like sub, you know, five 30 minute miles, you know, he could run two miles in like 11 minutes, yet when I put a rock on him and we go down the road, you know, five or six miles, like he's dying, right? So you gotta have a balanced routine of running, rocking, and lifting, right? Because um, it's not all about running. Like on the battlefield, we don't run from the enemy, right? You gotta be able to put a whole lot of weight on your back, move and get to the objective, right? You also gotta be able to carry the biggest guy on your team, right? And those dudes could be anywhere from 200 to 270 pounds, right? So you got to make sure that, yes, you have the stamina and the endurance to go the distance, 
but you also have the strength, you know, to pick a dude up, throw him on your back, you know, and move with him in case he gets injured on the battlefield. So training tip number four, guys, make sure you have a well-diverse training program that's going to keep some size on you, right? But also make sure that you're able to, you know, move at a decent pace as far as running and rucking. Guys, last but not least is training tip number five, and that is stretch and recover. Your body's going to need time to adapt to your new running regimen, right? So you got to make sure you give your body enough time, you know, to take all that information in, heal and recover, you know, so your muscles could grow and your endurance could get better as you prep for selection. All right. Hey, I hope this information was helpful. Right. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Right. And I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.